Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel OS VFX. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create animated introduction slide in PowerPoint. As you can see in this slide, I have created a curve shape here. It's like uh, a wave kind of thing. And in the background, you can see the buildings with lights. And apart from that one, I have added uh, some special lights here called the neon lights. If you can see the neon lights are appearing on the buildings. And then I have added a focus lights uh, on the back side of the buildings. This is one image actually I have just created as a two so that I can see, I can show the lights uh, in the background. So this is what I'm going to show you in this tutorial and without wasting much time, let's start. Go to new slide and insert, select a rectangle and draw the rectangle from this angle almost covering almost 90% of the slide and I'm going to remove the, the outline and right mouse click and say edit points here here I'm just going to add the point just right bring the cursor here and right mouse click and say add point right then you can see that one uh, one small uh, square shape is coming here just drag this one here if you can see you can just drag like this right and then you can just right mouse click and just say smooth point here you can see the moment i say smooth point it's uh, perfectly is coming in a curved shape here now i'm just going to just do some some more changes like this alright if you want you can make more smooth you can just sorry edit points again and if you want more you can just do or if you want to bring it more down alright so you can see this is a perfect uh, shape we have uh, created let me just bring this more down edit points and I will just make maybe like this here okay and then I'm going to select this one press ctrl D okay and I'm going to give some different color here format I'm going to give some different color right and I will just say send to back all right this bring this down and maybe till like this and then again right mouse click edit points and you can just bring this down here right and if you want you can just make this is up to just get a, a shape of like this right and then we can just change the color but uh, we will do that part later on now I'm going to add the, the picture in the background for that uh, I'm going to select a shape which is a rectangle and draw the rectangle to the whole slide and make it no outline and go to picture and select I'm going to select this picture alright and just say send to back now you can see the the picture is at the background now for this one I'm going to select a different color which is maybe white color here okay and for this I'm going to use some gradient color which is gradient color gradient fill and for that I'm going to use two different colors I just say one color will be like purple and the other color will be something like pink So the transparency is uh, all zero here that's the reason you cannot see that one right 
okay so we have got this one if you want to add one more uh, uh, line or something like that you can just add that one but anyway just we will uh, keep it like this only okay now uh, we have uh, designed the slide now it's uh, time for us to add some neon light effect to do that one I'm just going to zoom it so I'm going to add first of all a neon light say on this building I'm not going to show you all in this one but I'm just going to add only on this building for that one I'm just going to use shape I can take a line let's see and draw the line all right I'll make it white color and in the shape effects go to glow and choose any color as you like maybe this glow 18% gold you can select this one but this is too big maybe like this is okay all right similarly for that one I'm going to give the animation go to animation pane and first effect I'm going to give as a wipe effect so that it should come from uh, the bottom to top enable the animation pane and this is coming from bottom to top right and that is happening on click all right then I'm just going to copy this one press ctrl D and bring it here and you can reduce the size of the line from this one all right and this one should happen animation pane should happen with previous so both should come uh, at a time or if you want this can be done after previous also it's up to your choice to decide that one and then I'm just going to press ctrl D and I'll just put the line here and press ctrl D again bring it to the back side of the building and this also press ctrl D and arrange it like this all right so this one also which is with previous or if you want whatever right apart from that one I'm going to give a blink effect okay select all let me just select one by one one two three four and five and I'm going to add animation don't select it here because that will overwrite right so if you want add animation if you want to add one more animation on top of this one you have to say add animation and go to uh, say more emphasis effect and select the blink all right and this blink I'm going to right mouse click say effect option this should repeat okay repeat until end of the slide and just say ok and if you see this animation I'll just click that one right but due to some reason uh, click is not working was because I have put on click so this one I'll just say after previous let me just see now click yes alright you can see this one so similarly you can add the neon effect for this building with a different color let me just show you press ctrl D and I'm just going to bring it here and increase the size okay and for this one I'm going to give a different color maybe this blue all right again press ctrl D bring this here and one more is the background the back side of the building let's see how this it looks like again this all should happen this is I will just say after previous and all this should happen with previous so let's see now can 
you see? It's looking fantastic, isn't it? All right, now we have added the neon effect, uh, which is looking absolutely fantastic. Now it's time to add, which is the the focus lights uh, from the behind of these buildings, the front buildings. So there's a trick involved in that one. You know, you cannot just put a uh, behind this the light. You cannot just put behind this light because this is one image only. So if you see here the trick which I have used here, I'll just show you. Right? I have just. Can you see here? I have just one more image. Right? And there's a uh, two lights I have added here. Okay? And then I have just put the light building again to its position right so we have to do the similar things here for that one first of all you have to uh, select the image and press ctrl d to get duplicate and in the format you have to say remove background okay see the remove background means it's coming so all the color which is in the purple will be removed right so you have to just expand this selection can you see the buildings are getting selected even the sky the, the other buildings are also getting selected so let me just right if you can see right only these buildings got selected right and I will just say keep changes now you can see I have got another image ready with me with without background actually so now it's easy for me I can just put the buildings here right so before that one I have to just send it back so before doing that one I'm going to add the lights right so to add the lights uh, first of all let me just close this one and we can enable it later on all right I'm going to insert tab shapes select this trapezoid and design the trapezoid maybe like this make it no outline and rotate say flip vertical all right so I'm just going to place this one here and right mouse click go to format shape and say gradient fill instead of filling this color I'm going to fill the white color here I'll just put white color for this as well I'm going to use a white color and this one I'm going to make transparency almost less 67 or 70 percent and brightness I'm going to make it 100 percent so even this one also I'm just going to reduce somewhat transparency and the brightness to the full okay right so one light is ready now press ctrl D right so actually before that one I if I'm going to uh, give some animation here I'll just say animate I want to rotate this one right so I'm going to use uh, animation called spin animation the moment I'm just spinning it's spinning from the center actually it should spin from the bottom so this is not going to work like this All right let me just delete the, the animation pane what are the animation which I've created I'm just going to delete this All right first of all select this image press ctrl D to get duplicate go to format rotate and make it flip vertical and bring it here exactly attached to the bottom select both of this image and right mouse click group it and then come to this one and make it transparency 100% select this point transparency 100% all right now if I do the animation go to animation add animation more emphasize effect and sorry go to add animation Uh, select spin here okay right if you can see it's spinning perfectly from the bottom now 
select the animation which we have just added here I'm going to say which is a 60% only and all right and this one should be auto reverse timing it should always be repeating all right so timing let it be medium doesn't matter okay if you want you can just say smooth start or whatever I'm not going to do that one sorry it has changed I'm just going to make it again 60 degrees press enter key actually and then just say okay you can see here so but actually the light should fall to this side not to the right side so for that one I'm going to give the effect which is counterclockwise can you see now this is going towards this side all right even this one let me just make it more transparent I'll make it almost 100% here okay like this so press ctrl D bring it here and for this I'm going to make instead of counterclockwise I'm making it clockwise okay and this also should happen after previous and this is with previous okay all right now if you see here our animation looks like this I'll click it the neon line are coming and then all right this is perfectly all right okay so it's time to bring these buildings to its original position just make sure you are going to put it at the right place otherwise uh, it looks something odd then I'll go to format I'll just say don't say send to back uh, it will go uh, completely backside so just say uh, send back can you see here okay and this also these two also I'm just going to send back just click unless and until okay sorry this is completely from here right so this is behind the buildings now just make sure that you are going to put it at the right place yes all right let's see now click So only one problem happened here this is this building also got selected unfortunately but anyway this is uh, just for the, the learning purpose only so what if you see here my original one it will something like this so the neon lights and then this is coming here all right uh, friends so and then you can just uh, add the text here so that's it from me and hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel always vfx till then goodbye